third lake in, Birch Lake. So this lake uh, has a really nice bottom on it, really clear. So I'm able to see about a good four feet down in the water. This would probably be a great lake for swimming in. Again, no fish. It's got a kind of an oddball con conductivity and the pH balance is wrong for living things. I wonder if that applies. I always wonder if that applies to leeches. So, might be good for swimming. Might not be. I don't like leeches either. <laughs> wow, I can see. Whoa, I can see like 10, 12 feet down to the bottom right now. Gorgeous. But I'm not gonna mess around too much. I got got a destination to get to that's pretty far away. Well, here's the next lake. Uh, let's see. This one is Teal Lake. Tell you what, the map said a quarter mile. It did not feel like a quarter mile. That felt like a half mile. I don't know, maybe it's just because that first hill. Holy cow, that thing kicked my butt. This stuff's hard enough to single carry, but when you're going straight up a hill, man, it kills you quick. Check this out. Really nice campsite over here. I don't know if you can see it. Wow, it's really open, really nice. I'm not gonna walk on my gear over there. Ah. Whew. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like nice little uh, water trail thing. Ooh, it's much. Cool. You can see at one time there's probably like a little nice little boardwalk here. It's a long since gone. Duck over there. Two ducks. Right. Yeah, that wood was here for a reason. Super muddy in here, and your feet get, I don't know, like really holds your feet in. I'm actually gonna put my feet on. Get in. You know, it's amazing to me. Is it they haul all this wood and timber in here to make these trails? It's an incredible amount of work. So at work, I actually hired um, some of the kids that um, had had worked for the wildlife refuges in the past, and that was their job: haul chainsaws out into the middle of the woods, make trails, haul wood. Talk about hard work, man. <laughs> the kid ended up being a really good worker, too. <laughs> okay. Well, this is Teal Lake. A bunch of ducks nesting around here. We're now at the far end of Teal Lake. And now we are heading down to Mallard Lake. This one is a long porch. This one's a half mile. This is a one of the longest ones I'm gonna have to do this whole trip. So this one's gonna be hard work. Whew. Oh boy. <laughs> I 
right off the bat is a big hill. Well, anyway, wish me luck, guys. Here we are at um, Mallard Lake. That was a half mile portage. Half mile doesn't sound like a lot, but it is when you're carrying a kinew on your back and a, and a backpack that weighs eh, 31 pounds plus a, a camera bag. That is quite the challenge, but man, it sure does feel like you accomplish something once you get done with it. It feels great. It, man, it, you really feel a rush when you come over um, a hill and through the trees and then pop, you know, out pops a lake. So such a big reward. It's and it just it's a good feeling. So I've got this is Mallard Lake. The next lake's Raven, then Swan Lake, and then I got another half mile over to Loon Lake, where if I'm too tired by then, I can camp there. I'm not really wanting to, but after Loon Lake, it's about a little over a quarter mile over to Clam Lake, and that's where I'm gonna camp, and it's gonna be amazeballs. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be fishing it. I can probably have fish for dinner, hopefully. Anyway, boy, I'm having a really great time. This is freaking awesome out here. Yeah, that portage was was not easy. But I haven't seen any sign of bear, so I'm feeling great about that. A lot of moose tracks. I saw some rabbit sign. On the way here on the road, I saw a porcupine, a grouse, and a bull moose. couple of loons out in front of me. They're pretty far out there. Be nice if I could get a nice little shot of them. I'm kind of trying to get off the shore here. I'm gonna get a shot of this. So far on this trip, there's usually a couple, one or two loons on every lake that you go, that you see out here. They've been real skittish this time around. I've had some trips where a loon will, they'll literally swim right up to the canoe. I had one that was, he'd come up to the canoe and um, he'd swim right underneath me. And just do it, he was just like playing with me all day. He'd come up to the boat, swim under the canoe stick his head up and he's checking me out. That's pretty neat. And paddle super quiet. Another thing is, oh yeah, he, he's right there. A couple of them. What's up guys? What's up? I don't know if you can gauge it from the camera, but these things, they're pretty big birds. And they get, they get pretty curious. Sometimes they'll dive down and then when you see them again, they'll be clear across the lake. They're crazy good swimmers. They're right next to me underwater. Hey guys, what you up to today? Nothing? Gorgeous. <sighs> the Nikon camera is in the back, is in my back of the canoe right now or else I'd grab it. All right, well, have fun dudes. I gotta, I gotta be somewhere. I just noticed something super interesting. 
the, these uh, some black. There's there are some uh, black flies around right now, and uh, for some reason they're attracted to um, the GoPro. It's in like a black case. I've heard that they like black, but I don't know. They're all like surrounding the GoPro for some reason. And there's this. I have this cattail microphone, like a wind protector, and they're just crawling all over it. I guess it that is sim simulating some kind of an animal or something. Pretty cool. They're kind of staying away from me. <laughs> anyway, a little quick uh, observation there. Okay, we have uh, reached the end of Mallard Lake, or the other side of Mallard Lake. And we're now looking at the portage to Raven Lake. So interesting about this lake. Oh, again, boy, I can see about, boy, I'm seeing about 20 feet down right now. Again, this lake is super clear. God, and the, the, the bottom of it's just like a, like a white sand almost. Super clear. And it, this, this whole lake has like kind of a emerald green hue to it. Really pretty. Now that this is a this is another great lake to swim in. I almost want to come out here and like with a snorkel and some goggles or or a, uh, like a scuba mask and like do some uh, underwater videos. <laughs> Thing is, I don't like being cold, and this water is this is Alaska, and this is some cold water. That would be pretty fun, though. Hey, who knows? If it gets like super hot. Maybe I'll go for a swim, a quick one, and just get some underwater shots that way. That'd be pretty sweet. Anyway, yeah, it looks like there's a eh, little tiny um, campground here. A bunch of little sticklebacks in the water. Here, I'll give you a shot what the water looks like. So you can see this is right next to the portage. Just super clear water. Here, I'll get out. Just kind of take a look around. Ugh. So I've got only got one lake between me and Swan Lake, and it's only two o'clock. So I've been at this three hours. I've made it. I've, I'm making pretty good time. I don't know if you saw it before, but I wear these um, hip waiter, super lightweight, like hip water, hip waiter deals, and so I can um, walk out in the water if I want. Holy cow! Even through these waders, this water is ice cold. Oh my god! I can feel it all over my legs. Yeah, I dipped the GoPro in, but I've got this sweet mic on it. I'm not gonna get it wet. Pretty cool. Yeah, if you look at, so that's where I came from. Nice blue skies. It was actually hot when I started. Now if you look, we're at the direction I'm heading. <laughs> Those clouds are getting real dark. It's I'm probably gonna get rained on pretty soon. I, I would bet a hundred bucks I get rained on tonight. I actually kinda hope I do. It's kind of fun getting a tarp and sitting underneath it. Beautiful. Okay, one more lake. And I am will be on a lake with giant monster fish on it. Well, I'll tell you what, look at that. That's some dark ass woods. Yeah, I don't know if there's something like some haunted forest, like the in Legend of Zelda or something. They actually have something in there called the haunted forest, I think. This is it, dude. If there was a haunted forest, this what it would look like. Shit's creepy. <laughs>
lake. This is a really steep hill going down. Pretty cool though. This lake is absolutely still and calm right now. Be careful. Nice. This will make for some nice pictures. I'm always being super careful with my back, especially my sacrum. As I've said in previous videos, I have serious issues with my sacrum. I had cancer and uh, I still have cancer, but the cancer ate a big hole in it. So I've done a lot of, kind of physical therapy. I got a pain block. And uh, I've spent a lot of time trying to build a muscle around it, but I'm very careful how I move it. Okay. So, Portage to Swan Lake is straight across. This is a pretty tiny lake, it's calm. I'm gonna go right through the middle. All right, just paddled across Raven. As you can see, uh, these clouds are getting really black. And you can just, it's kind of funny how you can just smell it in the air before it's gonna rain really good. So it's about to happen. It's all good though. I got my rain pants and my rain jacket with me. So I'm prepared. Bring it on. So here's the portage to Swan Lake. Again, get the, like that haunted woods kind of atmosphere going here. <laughs> okay, this one's a third mile. So, I don't know, I'll try to single carry as far as I can. All right, see you on the other side, guys. 